Welcome. Today we will have a closer look into the Bifrost wallet. So you can see here the Bifrost finally has announced the uh, their release of the um, early access phase. And you can see here if you go to the tweet, I will link it. You can also download the app for um, for Google, so on Android Element or for the iPhone. You can see here that the so some quick details. The Bifrost wallet is a normal wallet, more or less. So um, it's a non-custodial wallet. Uh, so you're in full control of your assets, and you can hold Spark. You can also hold FXOP, so all the tokenized versions on the Flare network. It can also hold Ethereum, so it's uh, it can hold multiple assets from different blockchains. That's quite obvious. You can also see, for example, it also has the already stable coin. So also an asset living on the XOP ledger. So in order to get started, you just click on one of these links here, you download it, install it, and then we'll start here. So I'm right now using a program to mirror that one here. Okay, okay, right, and then let's get started. You can see here, uh, you click on create wallet and we can create a new wallet. We've got the terms of service, so I'm gonna agree here. And I have to check mark that and let's start. So the first thing we've got here, so right now the mirroring is unfortunately disabled. Uh, that's a security feature. Um, there are the 12, uh, the 12 words, so if we go back, you can see it, but that's a security feature of the Bifrost wallet. That's why I can show it to you here. So you just write down the 12 words. So right now I can see the 12 words and I have to back them up. So that's the idea here. So I'm just gonna copy those now. And you have to back those up. So this is the 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 so-called seed phrase. So this is the access to um, to well to all of your um, assets. All right. So I'm going to continue now. And on the next thing, I can again not show you what I'm doing right now. So now it's asking me for um, all the words in the in the right order. So it's just checking if I wrote them correctly down. Um, but like I said, sorry that you can see that. But it wouldn't matter, so would however do it, um, it would block that. So that's, like I said, part of the security feature. So after doing that, finally you can continue. Now hopefully you can see it again. Great. So now I can tie, set, up, so set up a pin code. So I'm going to use one, two, three, four, five, six. And I have to confirm them one more time. And yeah, I can skip it for now. And we can see here, that's now the Bifrost wallet. So right now I've got no co coins in there. So you can see if you swipe up there, I want to receive, for example, let's try to receive XRP. And uh, right, so I'm just gonna copy the address here. So as far as I know, it's, it should be in the testnet. So we're just gonna go to the testnet of the XRP ledger. And we're just gonna quickly grab a new account here, general credentials. We're just gonna generate a new test account, testnet account. So just copy the secret, go to the XRP toolkit testnet, enter here. The account should be activated in a second. And now I'm gonna send XRP to my uh, to my Bifrost wallet here. So now I have to copy that. So I'm just gonna use the, right, so I copied that, but now I'm gonna use the toolbox here. If I can grab it, I want to copy the clipboard. If I can, um, well, at least I'm trying right now. Nope, my bad, so maybe I have to copy it. So I'm gonna pause quickly. All right, so it did copy the address. Now we will go to the XRP toolkit and send there some XRP. For example, let's try 100. And I will confirm it now. And if we have a close look into the Bifrost wallet again, so as soon as it's confirmed, so we'll look into the Bifrost wallet. Oh, we can click here. We can see that I will reload now. Maybe I will also quickly have to check if it's connected to the mainnet or the testnet. But, and I'm also gonna enable the developer mode, yep. Ah, great, so yeah, we are right now on the, on the exit Ledger testnet, so that should work though. So yeah, so now, there we go. So right now we just received our XRP here. So you can see if I just try it again, I can just again go to the XRP toolkit, so we are now on the testnet. And uh, if we, for example, send another 20 XRP, it will also show up any second here in the, uh, on the uh, Bifrost wallet. So right now it's showing up 120. So you can see that, you can see if by whom it was sent, it was confirmed, you can see the network fee. Uh, we can also try sending the ORI stable coin. Well, let's try that. If it's mentioning that here, does it have ORI? Nope, does 
Okay, so, okay, great. So you can also add custom tokens, so it's also supported. If you want, for example, well, let's try use it here, I guess. Um, we can just try any um, if testnet. So there probably also, there's also a USDT. So would would have to look it up though. So right now we're using, so so there are some fundamentals here. Uh, we're right now using on the test net, so if we go to advance again, we're using the Robson network. So we need to uh, look for the, yeah, um, right now here in EFA scan and on the Robson, so that's the right network, and I'm just gonna copy the contract address. So that one is here, the contract, and I have to copy that and put it into my phone here. So now it's gonna be a little bit more difficult again because now I have to um, paste. Well, I'm gonna check, now I'm gonna paste it quickly. All right, so let's continue. So I just copied it, I've got it in my clipboard and I can also go to um, assets. Um, well, again, there somewhere, but so I'm just looking it up again, receive. Yep, I want to Robson firm. Uh, that's my Robson firm address, but I wanted to add USDT, whatever, add custom token. Then I'm just gonna paste the contract address here and you can see here, it automatically recognizes the token. I can add it here as well. Okay, great. So now we can also receive USDT, as you can see here. So um, I'm going to try that now. So I'm gonna, just going to say I want to receive USDT. So you see, that's my address here, to which I have to have to send from the Ethereum testnet, uh, Ethereum testnet USDT. So I'm going to do this well. All right, so I just copied my address again. So the receiving address, and I'm gonna use now MetaMask, where I have a different account. It's right now also connected to Robson Testnet. And I can go there, and you can see I've got 500 USDT, and I'm gonna send them to this address here. And I can, for example, define that I want to send, oh, my bad, I can, for example, send 10 USDT. And I'm gonna confirm that. You can see here the fee and all of that, and I'm gonna confirm that. And now I'm gonna check my phone again here. If I just do some re refreshes, so let's see until it's confirmed. So it might take a few seconds, so as you know, Eve is not the fastest. So yeah, I'm just gonna pause again. All right, so just for now, I was sending the wrong UCT. I apparently have some different ones from the Flare Finance Network, I guess. So these are not the correct ones. I would have to look up for the other token though, but I won't do that. I was able to send ETH, so we can also see that I've got one ETH now in this wallet here. You can also send again to some other address, or you could, for example, also send XRP here. So it's like, so it's a normal wallet. Um, I was also not able to add um, any other issued currencies on the XRP ledger yet, so I guess they will just add that. So this is just a very early um, version of the Bifrost wallet. And right, so that's how all of the works. So the, the only functionality you can so far test here is exactly like sending and rece receiving XRP on a testnet. And yeah, that's how it works. So we can also try it the other way around. I'm just gonna go to the, from who? Okay, I just copied the address from the sender. So you can also send XRP now. For example, there were 20 XRP. At least I'm gonna try it, 22 XRP, send it to that recipient there. Continue, I'm gonna confirm that. So now I have to enter the pin again. And you can see that, um, well, damn it, I just have to re re repeat it again. So <laughs> because I didn't know that you weren't able to see that. So one more time, you can see that I can just go to send, um, enter the amount of XOP I want to send here. I can continue then, uh, enter the address of the recipient and also confirm that and just enter the pin code. So it's like I said, it's working like any other normal wallet. So with the advantage of it soon also will offer um, more functionality in regards to having issued currencies, so being supported more natively and also having, um, being able to hold, so being connected also to do, so being able to also hold Flare tokens, so Spark and also the F assets. So it's just like, it's just a wallet which is able to even hold more tokens more or less. All right, so I hope you liked the video. I hope you've learned something and see you in the next video.